Welcome back to Paz. Next map is Perfuma, which looks really, really complicated. We have a number of entry points, a number of exit points. Astesia is pre-deployed. Okay, so we have Perfuma. Now, we're going to go with skill 2. Now, I haven't actually assessed as to whether this is the case or not. So, yeah, it's one of those don't quote me on this things. You don't need skill 2. You can go in with skill 1 or skill 2. Now, I suspect that this attack actually, this attack boost actually increases her map-wide healing talent. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter at the end of the day which of these two you want to go with. Um, it's probably more beneficial for you to just use healing up beta because it cycles quicker, but it's really up to you guys. I'll go with attack healing up beta because I just want to kind of emphasize the point that it just does not matter. So we want to get our vanguards in nice and early. So we're going to go with Texas up the top here. Uh, both of our vanguards are using their second skills, so that's kind of important to note. And we also want to really make sure that we're on the ball with these second vanguard here, and again, because their attack skill stretches across. So just make sure you're really on the ball with these skills. Stessia's skill as soon as she starts, and we're going to plop down. Perfuma can go in either one of these tiles, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that her healing area catches Astesia uh, and that she can heal back this way as well. So she's an AoE healer, so as you see, so she can go this way facing right or the cell next facing left. It's up to you guys. It really doesn't matter. Just as long as she can hit Astesia. Next up, Brocker here. Very important that Brocker is here in the healing area of Perfuma. That's also because Brocker is going to be primarily attacking the shielded guys. There's no point in Brocker attacking these guys that aren't shielded because A, they're all damage, B, they've got no defense. We don't need a dedicated damage dealer on them. So these guys come out and they basically go straight into their... Uh, they follow the lane precisely down. So, next up is going to be Beagle. I'm just going to use her skill because, as I say, I believe that that attack 50% affects her talent, which will help top up all of our other operators here. And what we're going to do is we're basically just going to watch for when things walk in. I mean, I missed it there, but that's all right. And we're going to deploy Executor here. So as you can see, Brocker is well on top of his lane. Beagle is suffering hard. So we're going to really need to use Brocker's skill here because Beagle's going to leak. Uh, we'll use Chev's skill as soon as it's ready because there will be stuff on top of Beagle which he can hit. And Brocker will just tear these guys apart. Now remember that these enemies heal themselves. So that's why we've got them sorted out the way we have. As you can see, uh, the pause doesn't showcase it, but Executor's doing more damage closer to him. That's what we want. Because we're DPS short in this lane, and we're DPS heavy in the next one over. Perfect, done. Once again, once Astesia starts attacking that target, off we go. Uh, we'll use this skill just to keep Astesia topped up. So everybody's happy, Astesia doesn't die. Now we have some more in from these left lanes, and then this will be the last lot from the left lane, but we're going to keep those vanguards in just because. So everybody's deployed, so now we're kind of practically using these skills as opposed to using them for deployment points. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait until these guys walk over, and then we'll just give them a bit of Texas. 
uh, Kiev's skill is always just going to be out of there, so it doesn't really matter. Frankly, you could move Chiev forward one, but it's up to you guys what you want to do there. So from here, I'm going to delay a little bit, not a lot, until I see the next big group coming out, and then I'm going to start popping skills. Why? Because I want the biggest bang for my skill point buck. Chop, 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 chop. And then we got one last enemy coming out of here. Now, if you are running Perfumer skill 2, her skill will still be running. Doesn't really matter because your Estes here will carve this thing up. But... And that's it, guys. That one's nice and simple. So just bear in mind you're, where you're deploying. Uh, if you want to move chair forward one and face him up, that's fine, because that means his AoE skill will actually help out Texas. But, as I said, you can use skill one or skill two once again. This map is nice and simple. It's really just making sure that those waves are dealt with in the proper fashion. You'll need to use skills at the right time, but other than that, that's it. Nice and simple. I hope that helps, guys and gals. If it does, like, subscribe, any questions, queries, leave a comment, and I'll do my best to get back to you.